Well, hi, hello, and a warm welcome to this video. Today, we're going to start looking at Instagram Reels. So if you have scrolled through your feed, you've seen these videos playing, you're not sure how to make them, or you've gone and had a go, and you've just become really frustrated because you're not sure how to get the text, how to get the text on the part that you want, how to make lots of different video snippets, where did the music come from, what is this reel, how do I do it, why should I do it, all of those good things, then you're in the right place. My name's Sophie Mejia, and I help artists make a living from their art or creativity by building a stable, profitable business doing what they love. Now, if you'd like to learn more tips and tricks on how to build your profitable art business, or maybe you haven't even started out yet and you're not quite sure what you should be doing first, then this is the right place for you. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell below to get notified every single time I create a new video. Okay, so we're looking at how to get started with Reels. Now make sure you stay right to the end of this video because I'm gonna share with you some top tips that are gonna enable you to save huge amounts of your time when putting together these Reels and em enable you to feel cool, calm, and confident when you go ahead and post them. All right, we're gonna cover five different areas. What is a Reel? What sort of content are we posting? How do we make a Reel? Um, how can we do it much quicker? And of course, those top tips at the end. Alrighty, let's dive into the content. Number one, what is a reel? If you're familiar with TikTok, you're familiar with those really short, um, exciting, engaging, fun videos. If you're not, then think of it as a 15 or 30 second video set to music. Now, get excited because while some of them look really complicated, once you've broken down how to do it, you'll be really surprised at how easy it is to do. Where do they show up on your Instagram? They show up on your profile grid. And once you've started making them, they'll create an extra tab, you know, along your grid, so you can see it straight away on your profile, but people can also click and just look at all the reels you've made. Okay, number two, what content are we gonna post? Well, luckily, I made a video before where I walk through uh, content strategies for your Instagram. So I highly suggest that you watch that. I'll also put it as a link in below this video. But for now, let's think about it in terms of top tips, um, a day in the life of your progress of your work, different ways of doing things, different materials, something that's short and sweet and easily consumable for your audience. For example, if you teach, what about three ways with watercolor, uh, five top tips with my sketchbook, three ways to start a painting, three ways to complete a painting. <laughs> you get the idea. So one of the things you'll want to do is look at other people's reels to get excited. Write down the things that you really, really like and then start making your own. All right, great segue, I think. Let's look at number three. How do we make the reel? All right. First up, we're gonna need our phone. You're gonna need, of course, the Instagram app, and you're gonna need to go ahead and find one of the three ways to actually open up the reel. The way I do it, I go to my profile, top right hand corner on my iPhone, and click the plus button. That's gonna give me all the post options, and I'm gonna go ahead and click reel. Now, from here, you have two ways of starting your reel. Number one, you can go down to the bottom and, and click through to your photo and videos that already sit on your phone. So you can have pre-recorded video that you simply upload into the reel. Or you can go ahead and hit the timer button, which we'll talk about in a minute, and set your phone up and record direct in the app. All right, the next thing you need to think about is a little set of tools, which are showing by default down the left-hand side. What have we got there? We've got things like length, so you can click on that and choose between 15 seconds or 30 seconds. Then we've got um, music. So you can choose either to select the music at the beginning or you can select the music in the editing process. So either you're going to make some moves to the music you've chosen or you're going to create your video and then find some music that kind of gives it some ambience. All right, slight top tip here. Most people watch reels with their sound off, so don't overthink this. All right, what comes next after music is you've got speed. So you could speed things up, 
personally, I just leave that as it is. And from then there on, we've got things like um, touch up and effects. Um, again, I don't tend to use those. If you use those things in your normal Instagram strategy, then go ahead and perhaps do the same thing. I just leave those alone. The most important button is under that, and that is the timer. So if you don't select to upload your own video and you want to make the video straight away within the Instagram reel, then you'll need to click on timer. All right, so let's walk through what you need to do next. We've looked at your two options for, for um, starting your reel. We've looked at your little toolbar down the left-hand side. You can move that, but I think there are more things to do with your day. So we've got those things. If you go ahead and upload your own footage, you click bottom left, where your uh, photos and videos show up so, uh, on iPhone and you select the video that you want. You can upload one video at 15 or 30 seconds or you could upload lots of little clips to make up your 15 or 30 seconds. A little bit more exciting, I feel. You can pinch and slide across the bottom to select which section of the video you want. If you're familiar with editing video on phone, then you'll get you'll be used to this slider bar for cropping um, on a video. If you're not, you might be going, oh my God, Sophie, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but for right now, take a deep breath and just know that you can just pinch and slide across the bottom. Just say, I'll have just that little bit. This video is a little bit long, I'm just gonna crop that down. And then you can go add, go back into your Photos, click another one and keep doing that till you fill up your 15 or 30 seconds. All right, what happens if you're making it direct in the app? This is the way I do it. I put my phone up on a tripod, I click the timer button and then I've got either the 15 or 30 seconds, depending on which one I've selected, showing up as a slider across the bottom. Now, if I'm just gonna shoot one 15 second video, I'll leave the timer and it will shoot 15 seconds for me and then stop. But to make it more interesting, I like to maybe slide that down and just do two seconds. And I'm gonna do one scene. And then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna slide the button down again and go from, from two to four, maybe two more seconds. And then I'm gonna shoot something else. And then I'm gonna move the slider bar from four to six and I'm gonna keep going until I've used up the allotted time. So either which way, we've now got video footage into our reel. The next thing we need to do is we need to press that edit button. So that's the back button to actually start editing the videos. So you might say, oh, they're in the wrong order. Press slide them to move order. Oh, I've got one there I don't want. Press on it and select delete. It's gone. Or oh, that one's a little bit long. Press on the little... Um, preview window, tiny things at the bottom, press on that, and again, use the slider to crop and make your little tiny clip a little bit shorter. Once you're happy with those, you press the forward button. The forward button takes you into the next section. So first section is getting the video in there. The next section is then adding text, selecting music, adding stickers. So you'll be using your little control bar down the left-hand side. So I like to put the text on, so there's a couple of options with the text. You can write one piece of text that shows for the entire length of your reel, the 15 or 30 seconds, right? Or if you wanna be a little bit more savvy and maybe you've made lots of different scenes and in those different scenes, you want a different word or phrase. So this is where it gets a little bit more tricky, but it's okay, you can do it, you've got this. All right, so you hit the top button where it says text, just like it would in a story you write your short piece of text, just like you would in a story. You choose the color, you choose the font, you choose the background. So it kind of looks like a little bubble, perhaps in your branded colors, there's a suggestion. And then you can use your finger to, to drag it around. So little top tip coming up at the end. So wait for that, because sometimes those things don't show properly. So at the end, I'm gonna let you know what you need to do to make sure your text doesn't disappear. So you're gonna put the text on there. If you only want it to show for the few seconds, you're gonna write the text, click done. Then you're gonna go back down to the bottom where you'll see a slight preview of the text. Click on that. Guess what, slider bar. That means that text is showing up for the whole 15 seconds or 30, 
unless you slide it back down. So you slide it back down until it just shows up on the section of the video you want. So you will have a little preview window of the little video sections and a little preview of the different texts. So once you've done that, you can click go ahead done and you can write the next little bit of text. Do the same thing, click on that slider to just show up. So you can end up having say five different scenes with five different bits of text. You'll want to make sure that you slide it with your finger around so that the text shows up in different places because it moves so quickly um, that you don't want them all popping on the same place. It doesn't make it very visually easy to read. What do you do from there? Okay, from there you're pretty much done. You can add some stickers if you want to, but let's just keep it nice and simple. I press then to go forwards, and the last sort of bit that you need to edit now um, is to upload a, um, an image to go over the top of your uh, reel. So you can upload again direct from your, uh, you can upload a thumbnail direct from your photo stream. The next thing to do is write a description. What is a description of the reel so people know what it's about and add some hashtags, just like you would in a regular post. Then you can have two options. Number one is you can save that as a draft to your phone so that you can post it later. Or number two, you're ready and you're gonna share it right now. And it goes straight out and straight onto your profile grid. Okay, Whew. and we're good. Once it's up and posted, you can't go in and edit it. So make sure before you press it out to share that you've just gone back over. There is a little edit button you can go back and just check those videos and just check the text before you go ahead. All right, what comes up next? Next is how are we going to save some time? All right, so how you're gonna save some time on this? Number one, you're gonna plan a whole load of possible reels out in your notepad or on a spreadsheet. All right, you don't want to be going, oh, I need a reel, quick, what am I gonna do? You want to plan out lots of different possible reel ideas. Number two, you want to always be videoing on your phone in portrait mode. So when you're in the studio, when you're out and about, when you're going somewhere, two seconds, three seconds, lots of little tiny mini clips, because maybe you have enough footage already to actually make a reel that you want. Tip number three in this section is absolutely batch your reels, all right? You heard me say you can draft them, make five reels in the go. Allocate a couple of hours in your studio creative space, go to your planner and actually map batch them. So create them one after the other after the other, save them to draft. You can then publish them as and when you would like to. Cool, good or good? All right, let me know in the comments below what reel you're going to be doing. Just give us a hint of does it have a title or what you're going to make a reel about. We'd all love to hear. And of course, if you have a great reel, give us a link to it so we can look at your reel as well and be inspired by what you're doing. Okay, so we've looked at what it is, we've looked at what content, how to make it, we've looked at how to save a little bit of time, and now, last but not least, number five, let's look at some top tips. What are the things that you can do to make this process so much easier? All right, so some of the tips I like to really think about, the first one is actually before you start shooting your video, create a cover image. Because especially if you're sharing something like three ways with watercolor, uh, you want to make a, an image that's almost like a, it's like a video cover like you would on YouTube, like you see on this very video, with the title of your reel on it. So when it's on your grid, people can see the title and they can click through after the fact and look at it, all right? So create your little cover photo first. Number two, remember said about the text, that moves around, there is a little tiny grid in there. It's not very visible. So when you go ahead and start writing your text, just put your finger on the text and move it around and you'll see a little grid lines appear. And they are the lines in which you need to have your text area or it won't show on the completed reel. The next tip is of course, once you've completed your reel and uploaded your reel, is then post it to your story so that people who are looking through stories also see your reel. 
So lastly, in this top tips, this is really important, you want to choose the best time to publish your reel. So before you go ahead and publish, look at your insights. When are most of your audience online? What time is the peak time for them to show up and engage? Because if you know that's in the evening and you post your reel at 9 a.m. in the morning, it's gonna drop off by the time the evening comes. And we know, Instagram is an algorithmic, oh, Sophie said that, an algorithmic beast. So therefore it's going to push it out the more engagement it gets. So if you post it at 9 a.m. it doesn't get any engagement, they're gonna think, oh, nobody really likes this content, we don't need to do much with it. If you post it at say 9 p.m. when you know the most of your audience, for example, is engaging and people straight away like it, view it, share it, then Instagram's gonna think that that's really valuable content and it's gonna push it out more in the feed. And of course, people can also just go to the Reels tab on their home screen and just look at Reels and yours might show up there too. So make sure you're posting it at the right time. Alrighty, I hope you're inspired. In fact, just hang on in there, we're nearly done. So without further ado, I'd love to hear what Reel you're doing. Don't forget to leave a comment below. If you've loved this content, please subscribe to my channel and then hit that bell to get notified. I put a video out every Wednesday, so you'll make sure not to miss the next one. We've social media stuff coming up, more marketing trips and tricks and tips and tricks, and of course, all things building an art business. Now, if you'd like to be in a community of artists just like yourself, then uh, join my Business for Artists Facebook group. It's free and there's a link below this video. We'd love to see you in there. And again, we're just finishing off a 14 day Instagram challenge. So you can always come in and sort of pick up on the excitement in there. And if you like, you can go back to the beginning and take the challenge yourself. People are already getting great results just in a few days. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more how to do this Instagram thing, if you'd like to be in that group of artists who are doing the same thing and want to build a successful, profitable art business, then hang out with us. Click the link below or go to the time limit, time, timeline image right above this video at the top of YouTube. And there's a link through there as well. All right, thank you so much for being here. I'll see you on the next video. Okay, bye-bye.